Con el Super Bowl regresando a Miami, tenía que visitar a un amigo criado aquí, el tres veces MVP de la Liga Americana y campeón de la Serie Mundial del 2009 con los Yankees, Alex Rodríguez. So Alex, take me back to Alex Rodríguez, 1984. Dan Marino is setting the world on fire. What was that like for you as a kid watching that? It's funny, you took the words right out of my mouth. He, he literally lit this world on fire in 1984. When he got here, he did to Miami what Michael Jordan did to Chicago, what Magic Johnson did to Los Angeles. Because you have to understand, this is a town that we didn't have professional sports since 1966, first time, right? Well, let me tell you, as a kid, getting down to the Orange Bowl, I mean, I would take three buses and the Metro Rail to get there, and you would have to leave you know, if it was a one o'clock game, kind of like eight in the morning, start kind of, you know, mixing and matching. <laughs> and if you miss a bus, you're gonna get there in the second quarter. Um, no, it was, it was, uh, there was nothing like the Orange Bowl. Don Shula and, and what Marino brought to this town is uh, unbelievable. Now, what was the moment that you said to yourself, that's my guy? You know, it's, it, George, it's, it's amazing what heroes can do. I, I didn't grow up with a father. And I met Dan Marino and I was 13 years old. And he remembers this, at least he tells me, he put his arm around me and I said, Dan, you're my hero. Can you sign? He goes, yeah. You know, we didn't have selfies back then. So he signed something for me and he said, man, you're a great looking athlete or a great looking kid. And it just meant the world to me. And it just reminds me now when we meet young kids, how important it is. And that left the mark in me that I, I think about it all the time. And, you know, for, from that moment on, he was more than a quarterback. He was one of my heroes. You grew up here, you know this is a big time town, like in the sense that there's a big event, people in Miami show up. Why is that, Alex? You can make an argument this is the best big event city in the world. And you have the weather, uh, you have the ocean, you have the great restaurants, and this city has grown so much over the last 20 years. And remember, this is the gateway to South America, and where taxes are going, people are coming here, I mean, by the boatload every day. This particular Super Bowl, we have uh, someone you're close to, performing in this particular Super Bowl. What does that feel like for you? Well, it's really a celebration of her career. I mean, Jennifer's dream for a long time was to play uh, in a Super Bowl. She was in the conversation several times over the years, and it just seems so fitting. This is her town. I think the world's gonna be pretty impressed with what she puts out. It's gonna be an awesome performance. Are you excited for the game? I am, I am excited for the game. And by the way, it's a, it's a great game. We have two epic quarterbacks. You played against the dad, well, well, or did you play yeah, with him too? No, I played. I played. I played with Pat Mahomes Sr. Right. And Patrick Mahomes Jr., the quarterback, yeah. used to put the ball on the tee for me when we were with the Rangers. Get out of here. He, he said to me one day, I said, Alex, what do you think? Now he's like a ten-year-old boy. He goes, Alex, what do you think? You think I should play football or I should play baseball? I said, Now Pat, listen here. If you don't listen to anything that I say, listen to me. The money is in baseball. Forget football. <laughs> I'm glad he didn't listen to me. Oh Good God. job, Pat. Don't listen to me. <laughs> he's amazing. Isn't he? He's he's a great kid. It's, he's unbelievable. It's, it would be nice though because he reminds me of Marino a little bit. If they got a little revenge on the Niners for our sake. Oh, that'd right? be nice. Yeah, yeah that'd be nice. No question. But it is going to be a good game. You know, sometimes George, you, you get into this like you got the perfect city. It's the hundredth year. You got incredible sh halftime show, and then you don't get the right game. Yeah. I think Miami got very, very lucky to have two great teams, iconic franchises with two alpha quarterbacks. It's going to be unbelievable. Yeah, it's going to be a fun show. This was fun, right. brother. You got Thank it. Thank you so much. Thank you.